Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. Gemini, this is your weekly reading for April the 18th to the 24th, 2021. Gemini, your energy, and what's crowning your energy for this week was throat chakra. So, I'll read it when I get to it. But the throat chakra is all about communication. Um, getting your Getting your point across, speaking clearly. Understanding other other people and making sure you are understood, but it's about communication. So I read it from the book when I get to it. But your first card out was the world. This is major arcana for Capricorn and Aquarius and or Aquarius. What clarified the world was the King of Wands. King of Wands. So this is taking passionate action. Um, the King of Wands could be you, Gemini. It could be a lover. The King of Wands can be married. Don't have to be. When I asked for more information about the world, the Ten of Wands came out. So this this is burdens. Um, the Ten of Wands could be letting you know to not give up. Or the Ten of Wands is telling you to let something go. What we'll clarified the Ten of Wands with the Will of Fortune. The Will of Fortune is um, Pisces and Sagittarius. So, that's Pisces and Sagittarius. And the will is all about change. The will could signify success. But it's at like advancing to like the next level. The Will of Fortune. Um, yeah, it's about change. Something changing in your favor or it can be a change that you don't like. Um, the will could also speak of karma. Karma, whether good or bad. So, let's see what's going on. Clarify the world. Okay, crack cup. Dissatisfaction with life. The world. So, Gemini, a cycle could be being closed out about this. So, the world. Crack cup. Dissatisfaction with life. Um, Whatever you're not satisfied with, Gemini, something could be... um. Closing out around that around that cycle, so this will could be letting me know that this change you have right here for the, is for the good. Um, what I just got as well, Gemini, you could just be um, Gemini, you could be traveling as well. You know how you um, like having a bad day, or you get into an argument with somebody. And you just get in your car and travel when you just drive. That's what this could be telling me too. Like you just in your car and you just driving to calm down. You probably got to, you know, just calm down. That could be happening too. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Clarify the Ten of Wands. So, egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. And broken ring, parting of ways in either romance or business. Mm. So what I'm getting, Gemini, you was working on something. It could be in romance or just like your career or just life in general. You could have been juggling sev several things. Um, whether you're a male or female, these burdens could be just everyday life. You could have kids. You could be married. You probably got to go to school. There's several things that cause you a burden. But um, you was trying to stay positive. Success assured with success assured with good plans and hard work. That's what you was doing that caused you a, a burden. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Um. But something could have happened this week or in the past. There were a parting of ways in either romance or business. So I'm getting Gemini. You was burdened by trying to make something work. Um, or you was working on getting rid of somebody. You could have been working hard to get rid of somebody. This could be a divorce going on. Or to cut ties with a business partner. Something like that. Um, 
Let me see the wheel. Hmm. Clarify the wheel. Clarify this wheel. Clarify the wheel. The fortune. Clarify the wheel. Okay, so. It says scales. Keep your life in balance. Candle, you will be shown the way. And table, hard work ahead. So, um, this could be in career. You could have a business partner, some type of business. Or this is like in romance. Gemini, you could have been married. And you could have been trying to keep your marriage, your relationship together, or your career together. But I'm getting something was a burden. Or you was burdened because you was trying to break away from some type of partnership. So either you was burdened trying to keep a partnership together or you was burdened trying to break away from a partnership. Whether in career, love, or just life. Um, The world, the world. Is this Gemini energy, the world? Yeah, mm-hmm. The world is this traveling. Yeah. So. It's what I said. It could still be the other way around. Like. A cycle could be closing around this. Dissatisfaction with life. Like you could. Be done with this energy. This dissatisfaction with life. But I'm getting Gemini. You in that ten of wands energy. You burden. And you just get in your car and you just drive it. Um, and that was the right thing to do. This King of Wands energy, the King of Wands take passionate action. The King of Wands is mature. So I don't know, Gemini, you could have gotten into a heated argument. And you left and you just got in your car and started driving. You was driving um, to cool off some steam so you can think. Um, Yeah, but the King of Wands. You took that action to get away from the situation. Clarify the King of Wands. It was like you was being a bigger person when you left. So, Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. March. March. Um. Uh, the month of March. Is this past March? Okay. So... You could have did something in the month of March, Gemini. Um, this was past March. So this was something that happened either in a far past March or last month. So something you did in the month of March that's coming out in April or even this week. But you're not backing down from whatever you did in March. Something you did in March, Gemini, you're not backing down. Um, You could have did something that someone didn't like. This um, broken ring right here, this could have been filing for a divorce. This could have um, been you getting some legal documents together concerning a business. Something I'm getting with a business too. You probably wanted to break away from a business partner or a business in general. And you started it or you finished it in the month of March. And... um. I'm getting you get into a, a heated argument or you or try to avoid this argument and you just get in your car and you drive. You just you leave the situation because you dissatisfied with life right now. And um, the will is going to turn in your favor because I'm getting you. The car said you will be shown the way you will be shown the way Um, you got to keep your life in balance. And spirit is going to assist you on what to do, the right thing to do. And you got hard work ahead of you. You got hard work ahead of you. So, for example, Gemini, say like you was married, Gemini. So, it's like in the month of March, you could have put in for the divorce papers. In the month of March, you put in for the divorce papers. And it's like... Maybe in April or this week is like, you know, that it was the right thing to do. So it's like, you do not back down from opposition. 
instead of arguing with your ex or your soon to be ex, you're not going to argue with them. You're just going to get in your car and leave. You're not arguing with them. This person could show about your job. They could show about your house. They could show about your love house. <clears throat> if you got a new person, your soon to be ex could show up at your um new person house or something like that. But um yeah, you got hard work ahead of you. Because it's like whatever you did in the month of March, it's like somebody is challenging you, but it's telling you not to back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. It's like don't change your mind. I'm getting somebody is trying to challenge you and get you to change your mind, but you will be shown the way, the right thing to do. Because you got hard work ahead. Mm -hmm. And you burden. You burden. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Parting of ways in either romance or business. Yeah. Somebody don't like this. I'm getting this broken ring. This parting of ways in either romance or business. Somebody don't like this. So, Gemini, I'm getting... You the one who initiated this broken ring. This parting of ways. You initiated, initiated it. And this... It was a burden to you. It was a burden. It was starting to become a burden. Because I'm getting you was juggling many things. And you were burdened. But there's going to be a change to these ten of wands. It's like you're not going to be burdened about the decision you made. um, Because you will be shown the way. You will be shown the way. <clears throat> the right thing to do. Yeah. So, Gemini, you could be dealing with an ex that don't want to let you go. But you know it's the right decision to do it. To let this person go. Something like that is going on. Um, But you the king of wands. You're the king of wands. Gemini, whether you a male or female, you're the king of wands. So, this could, be, could have been a marriage. Because the king of wands is usually married. Um, whether you male or female. So you could have been married. You either just recently remarried or you're getting a divorce um, or going through a divorce process or something like that. But you still the king of wands. So that's letting me know you still married to your person, but y'all going through a divorce. Something like that is going on. Yep. So let me read y'all Oracle. Let me find it. It's not long, so. What is that? Five. Let me read it. So the throat chakra. This chakra is, of course, located in the throat area. Communication, sound, creativity, and the ability of inner hearing. Are associated with it with it. Many artists, speakers, writers, singers, and individuals involved in the creative arts will often have active throat chakras. To balance and stimulate the stimulate this energy center, try humming, chanting, or singing out loud. It's a great tonic. Most important, if you have something to say, please speak up when this area is fully activated. Don't be surprised if you suddenly become create, creatively inspired. I'm going to read it again. When this area is fully activated, don't be surprised if you, if you suddenly become creatively inspired. And that's what this candle energy is here about. Candle, you will be shown the way. So, I, I'm getting this is connected to your throat chakra. Yeah, this, because it's like you will be shown the way. So it's like this candle energy is like going to activate or help you enhance your throat chakra. When this area is fully activated, don't be surprised if you suddenly become creatively inspired. Yeah. So it's like you are being inspired to continue on your path. So whatever you did in March... You're not going to back down from opposition. You're not going to change your mind because you've been inspired concerning your throat chakra. And you might have to speak up for yourself, stand up for yourself, repeat yourself, make yourself clear. 
Things like that. So what clarified the throat chakra was the seven of wands. So Gemini, this could be you. You could have fire in your chart or somebody you're dealing with is a fire sign. Um, This seven of wands, is this Gemini? Let me see. Seven of wands, is this Gemini? Mm -mm. This ten of wands, is this Gemini? This ten of wands. No. Okay. So these wands is not you, Gemini. So you dealing with a fire sign or you're dealing with someone who has fire in their chart or th this person is in that energy. But you being in this bull energy, not backing down from opposition, this person is burdened. This person is burdened, um, Gemini. And it could be an ex-lover or ex-business partner because what's, what's going on... <clears throat> This person is burdened because you made some type of decision in the month of March. Um, and they are burdened because everything that they try to do to get you to change your mind, Gemini, is not working. That's what I'm getting. And Gemini, you're just trying to keep your life in balance because you will be shown the way. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's probably hard work dealing with this person. It's probably hard work. So this them up here, they seven of wands. This is them. Um, this person is very defensive against you, Gemini. They're defensive. Um, we'll clarify the seven of wands with the eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. So, this could be you or somebody else, Gemini. This is about work. Um, like I said, I think this person showed up at your job. Clarify the seven of wands. That's what it's looking like. The seven of wands. Period. Yeah, someone will gossip about all your secrets. Yeah. This person, your ex-lover or ex-business partner, this person is defensive against you. They don't like the decision you made and are making. So they are going to be gossiping, gossiping about your secrets. And they might show up at your job, Gemini, and embarrass you. They might show up at your job and embarrass you. Eight Pentacles. Is this Gem Gemini? <clears throat> yeah. Yep. That's Eight Pentacles is you, Gemini. So it's like you at work. This is Eight Pentacles. That's like somebody at work. And this person, they might show up at your job. And um, they're going to gossip about all your secrets. They might cause a scene. When I asked for more information about the throat shock, where the Seven of Swords came out. So, this is some type of deception. The Seven of Swords, Gemini. This could be you. The Swords, this your energy. What clarify, what clarify the Seven of Swords was the Hermit. The Hermit. So, this is the Major Arcana for Virgo. So, the, the Hermit either seeks wisdom from within or the Hermit already knows. The Hermit already knows. Seven of Swords. Is this Gemini? Is this Gemini? The Seven of Swords. Yeah, that's you. Huh. The Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Ooh. Yeah. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay. Hmm. The Hermit, is this Gemini? The Hermit, is this Gemini? No. Huh. Gemini, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Don't have to be. But, um... I'm getting a little bit... You playing dumb. But this energy... The Seven of Swords, um, not playing dumb, but you, I'm getting, you got away with something. Because the Seven of Swords is somebody getting away with something. It don't have to always be deception, but it's just that you got away with something. And it's because you had shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So, 
you got away with something. Maybe it was because you stood up for yourself. You had to, you know, defend your, you know, you had to defend yourself verbally. Um, but you got away with something. But it was because you was being shrewd and resourceful in business. And it could be about a Virgo. Something about a Virgo. Um. Hmm. The Hermit. Is this the same person in this Ten of Wands energy? Is this Gemini's person? Yeah. Yeah, the Hermit. So, Gemini, you could be dealing with a Virgo. But this is this person in, in your energy. And you got to wait with something and this person know it. This person know it and they upset. Yep. It could be a Virgo. But you got to wait. With, whatever this is, you got to wait with it. And they don't like it. Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit. I got to hurry up. My phone about to die. Clarify the hermit. Yeah, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Yeah, this could be a business partner. But this hermit energy, this is a different person, and it's the same person down here. So this hermit, possibly a Virgo, this person is burdened because of a, de a decision you made in March. And this person know that you're going you're getting a financial gain, or this is what they want. So either you're getting a financial gain, Gemini, from something you did in the past, and this person know, and they probably want some of it. Or this person, they want a financial gain from something they did in the past. But Gemini, you're probably going to get away with not giving it to them. Yeah. Because y'all, if this was in business, you cut ties with them. So it's like you're going to get away with not. Or Gemini, you give them the money and tell them to go. That's what could be going on too. You give them whatever they last paycheck or whatever, and you tell them you tell them to, to get away to to get away from you. Yeah. <clears throat> so either this person is in your energy because they want money from you, and you might not give it to them, or Gemini if if you give this person this money, you gonna give it to them and tell them to go because you done with them. Gemini, you could be a business owner, and this could be an um, employee. This could be one of your employees. I mean, empl how you say it? <sighs> yeah, this could be one of your employees. You, you're the employer, and this could be an employee. And you probably had to fire them. Something like that. So you cut them that last paycheck, and you tell them to go about their business. Y'all part ways. Give me an oracle for the world and the king of wands. Yeah, karmic partner. Karmic partner. So this is either in business. Um, Gemini, if this is about a business partnership, your business partner was a karmic to you. So they was there to teach you a lesson. Yep, they was there to teach you a lesson, a valuable lesson concerning your life's journey. So this person taught you a lesson. They could have done something against you, but they taught you taught you a lesson. Give me an oracle for the Ten of Wands and the Will. No. What is this? Yeah, the Will of, the will of Fortune. Ten of Wands and the Will of Fortune. Yeah, Fifth Dimension. Fifth Dimension. Um, The Fifth Dimension, the 5D, is going to handle the situation, though. Because it's like, this person, Gemini... You being intuitive and you're being led. You're being led. You're being shown the way. You're being shown how to deal with this person. That's why you're getting away with something. You're going to be able to get away with it. Because you're being shown how to get away from this person. Fifth dimension. Give me an oracle for the seven of wands and the eight of pentacles. Yeah, winter. Mm-hmm. So... You and this person could have been going at it since the winter season. Y'all could have been going at it since all winter long. Whether it's a lover or business. Click, give me an oracle for the seven of swords and the hermit. Yeah, 
I gotta hurry up. My phone is about to die. Yes, yeah, stuck. Mm hmm. Stuck. You got away from feeling stuck, and this person feels stuck. This person feels stuck because you got away with something, Gemini. And they do not appreciate that. Stuck. Is this Gemini energy? Yeah. Um. Huh. Yeah, I think you got away from that energy feeling stuck. Because you seven of swords. So you got away with something in or you got away from something. And it was feeling stuck. You probably didn't know what to say to this person or you didn't want to argue with them concerning your throat chakra you were stuck concerning what to say to them or you probably just didn't want to speak to this person but you're going to speak to this person and say what you got to say you're going to get your point across yep because i think you were stuck concerning your throat chakra but the fifth dimension is here so it's like they're going to activate your throat chakra and you're going to say what you got to say to this person or you're going to say what you got to say to somebody else to get this person out your hair. Yeah. So, Gemini, that's what I have for you for this week. This is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. Gemini, please keep in mind that this is a general public reading. This energy may or may not be for you. And as well, time is fluid. So, this energy can manifest this week. Or it can manifest later on down the line in time. Thank you, Gemini.